Hello once again watchers of Good Movies, my name is Nick Pell and this is my review of Good Boys. This is a film focusing on a group of three young 6th grade students and their day kind of gets turned upside down when they end up with a bunch of drugs on them and they have a broken drone which is one of their dads and so they have to try to replace the drone and uh, get the drugs out of their hair and it's a whole raunchy comedy of sorts and it's, it's, it's pretty good. And the best thing about it, being a comedy, is that it's funny. And this is an R-rated raunchy comedy, and so it is able to take advantage of that very, very well. And there have been movies that deal with, like, young kids, like, swearing and dealing with, like, sexual things and whatnot, um, which doesn't really come off the best. But this film does it pretty well. Um, I found most of the scenes pretty entertaining. Most of the stuff was pretty funny. Um, there are a lot of things that the trailer showed, but for the most part, there's enough extra stuff within the film itself which wasn't shown and spoiled that it made up for it and made everything work really really well. There are a number of times where my theater was laughing so much that I couldn't hear what the next lines were after the joke happened on screen um, and so that's how you can kind of tell that uh, it's, it's the jokes are at least being received pretty well. But the main thing aside from the comedy which makes the film work as well as it does is the chemistry between the three main actors. We have Jacob Tremblay, uh, Keith Williams, and uh, Brady Noon. And the chemistry that these three kids have between each other just works extremely well. You can really buy into the idea that they are friends and that they have been friends for a very long time as it is stated within the film itself. Um, and they just Again, they work really well together, they bounce off each other well, um, and I enjoyed seeing them on screen together. And part of what makes the film work is that they do have character development and growth by the end of the film. Because this film is, aside from all the comedy and shenanigans, it is a film ultimately about growing up. Um, and while you would not think that there's a lot that happens within sixth grade, within like the first week of sixth grade, in regards to this, uh, it does ultimately kind of focus on the idea that when you're young, when you're like in kindergarten through elementary school, your your best friends at the, t at the time are kids who either you your parents are friends with each other, or you're just or you just happen to live uh, really close together, um, and so those are the people that you're most connected to. But once you start to be able to branch out and meet other people and everything like that, you find people that you might click better with, and as a result, you start growing away from the people who you have grown up with until that point. And so the film does decide to kind of focus on that a little bit more towards the end of the film, um, and I thought I actually did it in a really well done and mature way, um, which. Uh, is kind of reflective of what I think a lot of people, including myself, end up going through during this time in their lives. I will say that can get a little, a little bit cheesy at times, just within certain things which happen on screen. There's a certain uh, event which happens towards the end of the film, which just seemed kind of like, why is this needed? I don't know. But guys, overall, I would definitely say check out Good Boys if you have the opportunity uh, and if it is seems to be something that you are interested in, uh, because I don't think that the comedy will be definitely for everybody, um, but for me personally, I had a really good time with it, and the people in my theater did as well. So guys, check it out. If you have the opportunity, have you checked it out? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Let me know your favorite coming-of-age comedy in the comments down below as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe once again if you should choose it. I appreciate it immensely. And as always, people, my name is Nick Pell, and once again, keep on watching.